So Mark and Angel Chernoff are the popular creators of the blog Mark and Angel Hack Life. Recognized by Forbes as one of the most popular personal develop blo development blogs in the country. But Mark and Angel were not always the picture of success and wellness. In fact, quite the opposite. And their journey from rock bottom to happiness is well worth your time. Here is how they're settling for more. Happiness is something that we achieve at different levels in our lives. Where happiness becomes a, a true blessing is on the days where things aren't going so well. Happiness is acceptance. Mm. Um, accepting where you are in the current moment and realizing that you can't change the past and you can't predict the future. In 2006, newlyweds Angel and Mark Chernoff were enjoying their life in San Diego. But that was about to change. It's six o'clock in the morning and my phone's just going off, you know, text messages, phone calls. I get a text that says, have you heard about Josh? And Josh was one of my best friends. Um, he was 27 years old. He was married and had two kids. Um, it turns out Josh had passed away on a work trip in a hotel and there was no real explanation. And so that completely yeah. like tore me apart inside. You feel nothing. I mean, that's, that's what was, you know, I think that was our first um, experience with depression. You know, there, it's not so much sadness at some point as it's just like emptiness. And then more bad news. My brother was a person who was always smiling. You know, his smile was contagious. I mean, Todd was the, the tough guy. He was the, he was the, that, that rock, you know, the family. Like if someone else was in trouble, like Todd was there. To find out that he had taken his own life willingly, it, it knocks you down to a point where it, it, it challenges everything you thought you knew. In the midst of all this, Angel lost her job. They now found themselves in a dark place. I would say empty is the best word. I would be crying, you know, I still, we were trying to get, get out of bed, but that, that was just hard in itself. So the questions constantly going through my mind, the whys, the what ifs, the should ofs. Silence, yeah. silence, silence between quiet, us, like yeah. the, the conversations that we should have been having, that we needed to have. The hardest days make us who we are, inside and out. They tried to break that silence by putting their emotions and thoughts in a blog a blog that quickly went viral. That was kind of the beginning, those, that, that realization was the beginning of like, we need to step through it, but like how? Like where do we go from here? And that led us on quite a journey. So as I mentioned, Mark and Angel Chernoff are the popular creators of the blog, Mark and Angel Hack Life. They seem like they have it all going on, <laughs> but are open about the fact that that was not always the case. It has been a journey. And here they are sharing it, their, their trip. From rock bottom to happiness, Mark and Angel, welcome to you both so Thank much. You so Thank much you for, for having being us, here. Megan. So we talked about some of the sadness and the peace that you had been through. And in the break, we were talking about whether you wrestled with anger. And I raise it because I think a lot of Americans are feeling that today in the wake of yet another school shooting down in Texas. People feel powerless. They feel frustrated. They feel angry that we're living in a country where this keeps happening over and over and feel like there's nothing they can do. Right. And your own journey getting yourself out of rock bottom to this place of wellness tells you otherwise. So what say you to them? You have to embrace the fact that it happened first and foremost, right? You have to actually sit with acceptance. And that, that acceptance doesn't mean that you, you're, you accept that this is how it has to always be. It's accepting that it did happen, that this is a tragedy um, and that it, these tragedies have been happening too often. Um, and we have to control our anger because if we get angry about it, if we are angry at the person who did it, if we were angry at the NRA, if we just, if we let our anger get the best of us, we end up ranting online about a bunch of stuff and not actually taking legitimate action and putting ourselves into a position of acceptance where we can think about it and more calmly say, what can I do about this? What can I do? What are the steps that I can take on a daily basis? Not just once, not just here, not just writing that angry message on Facebook today, but what can I do on a daily basis that actually puts me in a position to make a difference about that situation, about the way I feel and about how other people feel? One of the principles you realized is you you cannot control other people's behavior, but you no. can control your own. And that I believe that so fundamentally, and it's been the key to surviving a lot of things on my part. But how did you get there? Because here you are sitting there out in San Diego, miserable, your brother's death, your friend, all of this, lose your job, and just feeling upset. So how does that couple go from there to here? Yeah, good question. And, there, and there's a lot that happens. But, you know, in the beginning, 
we were just stuck inside our house. You know, we were just mourning and silent and not even speaking to each other. So the first step was just getting out of the house, just taking that step, walking out of the house, feeling the sun on our face, walking to the bay, sitting there and having a conversation, but just that movement of getting out instead of sulking. And like Mark said, it, rather than thinking there's nothing I can do, like just making step, making a progress. And then you turned it into rituals. And that's really at the core of the book, the importance of rituals in one's life. Can you tick off a couple of them for us? Sure, absolutely. I mean, the, the very first ritual, as Angel said, was getting out of the house. And we would take personal development books out to a little green space on the bay, in Sail Bay in San Diego. And we would read, we were together, but we were reading individually. And then we would share what we were learning. And our blog was actually born from that, from the idea that we were gonna hold ourselves accountable to these things that we were learning, to step through the depression, to step through the anger, to figure out how we were going to start taking legitimate steps and in the, and doing it you were connecting you were connecting with others connecting which always big which was ama amazing like we started the blog as a public accountability journal for ourselves to hold ourselves accountable to the things we were learning writing so in that thing could, every day writing it every day the ritual of just reading and writing distilling it down there putting it in black and white so we could see it so we could hold ourselves accountable this is what i know i need to do and then through that we, we started obviously practicing the, practicing rituals with others as well. People were reaching out to us and saying, hey, listen, I really resonate with your story. And, and it was kind of interesting to us because that was never the idea. Um, and what do you think of my story? What can I do? What can I start practicing that Gratitude, might help me? Gratitude. Right. Mindfulness. Exactly. Deep breathing, being conscious of one's body. And so a big one is, is gratitude, right? I mean, it's something we talk about a lot, so much so it becomes a cliche, but it works. I mean, positive psychology studies time and time again have shown if you sit down at the end of a day and you focus on th just three small wins of the day, they don't have to be big things. I made it home safely from work today, right? I have a wife I love. Despite all the other things that are going on in my life, you look at the things like that at the end of every day and reflect on them, they start becoming a piece of your identity. You start resonating more with them, and you start seeing them more in your life. And you need it less as a tool. It's more your default, and your wellness goes up. That's right. Thank you both. The blog is well worth your time, and so is the book. It's called Getting Back to Happy. All the best to you both. Thank you Thanks. so much. We'll be right back. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.